you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. Last we spoke, we were talking about how we want to be paying attention to our soma, our body, as a matter of health. Perhaps the most important matter, uh, aspect of health. Paying attention to our soma, paying attention to our body. We've been spending a lot of time talking about the ketogenic diet. And as far as eating behavior goes, remember eating behavior is arguably the single most important aspect, at least physical aspect, of the disease process or or the healthy state for that matter. Human beings and domesticated animals like cats and dogs are distinct from wild animals in that we all eat for mental reasons. Cats and dogs and people, probably farm animals too. Any animals that interact with human beings, so-called domesticated animals, bear some of our qualities, good or bad, and one of which is uh, our dogs and cats get depressed and they eat for mental reasons. Human beings eat for mental reasons. We eat for pleasure. We eat for dopamine. Dopamine is our reward chemical. When dopamine levels go up, you think you just won the lottery. You know that feeling you get after you, uh, if you, if you're addicted to something, say cigarettes, and uh, you're jonesing for a cigarette, you can't find a cigarette, you're looking all over for a cigarette, you finally get a cigarette. There's a sense of just well-being that you get as soon as you puff on that cigarette. And that's true about any addictive behavior. The completion of an addictive drive jacks up dopamine, and we will do anything for dopamine. I was listening to the news this morning. There was some uh, talking head doctor railing about a new so-called designer drug called Flacca. Now, Flacca is like, it's kind of like bath salts. If you heard of those, bat- Flacca is becoming popular in South Florida. For some reason, South Florida seems to be where a lot of these things, I don't know why that would be, but South Florida seems to be a place where a lot of these kinds of weird things happen, including designer drugs. Bath salts were really big in South Florida. Now, Flacca is big. Flacca is like the bath salts, which, by the way, have nothing to do with baths and have nothing to do with salt. It's just a chemical. Just a, Bath salts were just a term that was given to a drug. Uh, to make them legal so you could sell them in gas stations, apparently. In any case, both uh, bath salts and flaca jack up dopamine. Both uh, bath salts and flaca are examples of substances that people are willing to do to improve their levels of dopamine, to improve their sense of well-being, despite the pretty horrible effects like seizures and convulsions and wild and involuntary muscle twitches and contractions, not to mention crazy violent behavior, including murder. Earlier this week, a Florida college student allegedly attacked and killed a couple and then finished off the murder by biting the dead man's face and then claiming he had superpowers. The guy's in the hospital now. It's all allegedly, of course. So, of course, according to this doctor anyway, now we got to make this stuff illegal. Of course, it does sound logical to make this stuff illegal, but in reality, when you make a drug illegal, all you're doing is you're giving the government more power over the individual. It's already an issue. You're creating more criminals. You're creating a larger criminal uh, criminal class. The United States already has more people in jail than any other industrial country in the world. Millions of people are in jail or, or have been in jail in this country, and a lot of them for drugs. And criminalizing drugs doesn't work. Criminalizing bath salts and flaca isn't going to help because the nature of the chemistry is that these things are easy to tweak. You can take an illegal drug and make a little chemical twist and you make it into a a legal drug. And now they may even be worse than the preceding one that has been criminalized. The point is people are willing to do anything to feel pleasure, to anything to jack up their reward chemistry, anything to jack up dopamine. We're willing to do the craziest things to get our dopamine going. That's why we jump out of uh, airplanes. That's why we bungee jump. Thrill-seeking behavior is a classic example of trying to jack up dopamine. And this is why we eat so much food, particularly calorie-rich food and sugar-rich food, and it's why diets don't work. Because we're looking for the dopamine, not the food. So you try to control the food, but you want the dopamine. So you'll do anything for dopamine, even if it's going to cost you a few pounds, or even if it's going to ultimately cost you your health, because we want that pleasure chemistry. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for the food, we're looking for the dopamine. If human beings are willing to take flaca and, uh, and bath salts that have these unbelievably horrific side effects, including death, they're certainly not going to have a problem cheating on their diet. 
So if you want to lose weight, you got to figure out a way to get your pleasure chemistry going. You got to activate pleasure. It's kind of like what we're, we always talk about the parasympathetic nervous system. Pleasure isn't exactly parasympathetic, but it's along the same lines. We're looking for peace of mind. We're looking for contentment. We're looking for pleasure. That's why we eat so much. That's why we take drugs. That's why we drink alcohol. You can't make this stuff illegal because we want the pleasure. You got to find a way to get pleasure without the drugs. That's how you handle these kinds of problems, not by putting people in jail. You create a culture where pleasure is built into the society. And there's lots of ways to jack up dopamine and lots of ways to feel pleasure. Just completing a project that you've been procrastinating on. If you've ever had to do something, clean up something or put something away or write something or do a project of some kind, you know how great it feels when you're done, especially if you've been procrastinating for a while and then you finally get it done. It feels awesome. That's dopamine. Gratitude jacks up dopamine. Forgiveness jacks up dopamine. Exercise, body work, massage. All of these are great ways to improve health, improve well-being, improve longevity, fight cancer. They require no cost. And that's what I really, that's what I call the bright side. There's these simple little things we can do to stay healthy. And of course, the ketogenic diet is center stage when it comes to dopamine. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. We're talking about dopamine and the ketogenic diet. Dopamine is what it's all about when it comes to pleasure and it comes to our addictive behaviors and it comes to all the things we do, a lot of the things we do that aren't necessarily so good for us, including eating lots of sugar and lots of calories. Well, guess what? The ketogenic diet is pro-dopamine. It's a pro-dopamine diet. So not only can you lose weight, not only is it important for your heart if, you've had a, if you have a heart, a cardiomyopathy or heart disease, not only is it important for your brain and for movement disorders, but it also increases dopamine. From uh, the journal Neuroscience Letters, June 2014, mice fed ketogenically, i.e. high fat, low carb, produced more dopamine, particularly, this is very interesting, in the areas of the brain that are associated with movement. Anyone with Parkinson's disease uh, out there listening to this? The ketogenic diet is your ideal Parkinson's disease diet. It's a pro-dopamine diet. It's a brain health diet. Researchers uh, in this article concluded that the, uh, the ketogenic mice produced, quote, significantly, unquote, more dopamine than their control counterparts. The tremendous and well-documented uh, health-promoting effects of the ketogenic diet is based on the fact that we love fat. We get rewarded for eating fat as much as sugar. We get rewarded. The brain secretes reward chemicals when we eat fat and when we eat sugar. Problem with sugar is it's not detected until we've eaten too much. Fat is, you can't really overeat fat. You're going to throw up before you overeat fat. I, I, there used to be a show on TV where this guy ate a, a crazy amounts of food. I'm trying to think, man v. food it was called. Man versus food. Just that, that, something twisted about that title right there. Man versus food, as if food is the enemy. Anyway, this guy eats a ridiculous amounts of food. You probably know what I'm talking about. Adam Richman, I think his name is. So he eats this crazy amount of food, and the whole show is about can he eat this crazy amount of food. And he can eat enormous amounts of food, and he never gets sick, except one time I saw him try to do milkshakes and ice cream. And sure enough, there's no way he could have done it, and he ended up throwing up. And that's what happens when you eat too much fat. Sugar, you can go crazy on because the, the, we don't detect the sugar until it's too late. With fat, you can't really overeat, especially if you're paying attention to your belly, especially if you're paying attention to your body. And it's this combination of high fat plus eating from the belly rather than the, than the brain, the belly body, belly body complex rather than the mind brain that allows us to maximize the weight loss, anti-seizure, heart health, dopamine producing benefits of the ketogenic diet. The combination of eating high fat and paying attention to when our body says stop. The combination of eating high fat and low calorie essentially. Eating a greater proportion of your calories from fat, but total calories should be low. And if you pay attention to your body, this is how you do it. That's how you do the ketogenic diet. 
And there's also, of course, supplements. And we, we've been talking about a few of them. We, talked, uh, we spent a lot of time actually talking about CLA, conjugated linoleic acids. CLA is a ketogenic support supplement. CLA is renowned for its ability to help people lose weight and build muscle. It's a type of omega-6 fat, a little, t- little twisted omega-6 fat and associated with a lot of health benefits. It's pro-ketogenic. One of my all-time favorite fat uh, supporting, ketogenic supporting supplements is carnitine. And we're going to spend some time talking about this one because you don't hear a lot about carnitine. Carnitine, the way carnitine works is pretty much the essence of the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is a fat burning diet, but in order for fat to be burnt, it has to be transported or carried into little furnaces, little fat burning organelles, little fat burning structures that live in a cell. Some of you have probably heard of these little fat-burning structures because over the last 10 or 15 or 20 years, we've begun to realize that these fat-burning structures play an amazingly important part in the aging process. As these fat-burning structures break down and are not replaced, we age. These little fat-burning structures are responsible for a whole new segment of nutrition and health. They call these little structures mitochondria. Just think mighty, because they are mighty. They are the, the engines that fuel the cell, that produce energy in the cell. And basically, what happens on a, a quantum atomic level, the tiniest level you can imagine, is little tiny, 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 tiny submicroscopic pieces of fat. They're not really fat at this point, but we'll call them fat. They get carried into the mitochondria. And that's where they're burnt. And they're not really burnt. It's actually a quantum form of burning. But for our purposes, we'll say they're burnt. Little pieces of fat are burnt by being transported into the mitochondria. You guys, you've got to picture this in your mind's eye. This is incredible. How can this be? How can this, all of this choreographed and intelligent activity be taking place at these tiny levels? This is mind-boggling. And the whole process depends on the nutrient carnitine. Carnitine is like a skateboard. It's like wheels that get attached to the fat and the fat gets wheeled into the mitochondria by being attached to, the car- to carnitine. That makes carnitine crazy important for fat burning. And because the brain and the heart, and really the whole body for that matter, and ke- the ketogenic diet itself depend on this transportation of fat into the mitochondria for their, for their effects, carnitine is a very important pro-ketogenic uh, nutrient, pro, pro-ketogenic supplement. And I say supplement because it's a meat uh, amino acid. If you're going to get it from food, you've got to get it from meat. Your body can make it, but if you want to get it into your body, you've got to get it from meat, and a lot of people aren't eating enough meat. Carne means meat, and carnitine is found in meat. You've got to eat lots of meat, and of course there's all kinds of problems associated with that. So supplementing is the best way to up, uh, uh, upregulate your carnitine or increase your carnitine, increase the amount of carnitine in your body. Carnitine is like an, it's an amino acid. Not really. It's a two amino acids stuck together. It's a hybrid of two amino acids. They call it a di, meaning two, di, di, dipeptide. It's got two peptides, and it's found in a really high, most concentration in the liver, which is the organ that's responsible for doing all this fat stuff. That's why liver disease is such a problem too, by the way. They call fatty liver disease because the liver is processing fat. When it starts to break down, the fat starts to build up. All right, I'm Pharmacist Benny. I want to get to a couple of uh, articles, a couple studies here. This one, this one really caught my attention. British Journal of Dermatology. Rosacea tied to a higher risk of high risk of GI disease, gastrointestinal disease. I've been saying this for years. Rosacea which is a condition where the skin gets red and inflamed sometimes. Sometimes it'll become oily. You can see little blood vessels. Uh, Rosacea is not a skin condition. It's a circulatory condition. And every once in a while, too frequently, I see products advertised that are supposedly you rub them on your skin and it gets rid of your rosacea. These are dishonest, mean-spirited, not fair, dirty pool products. And sometimes you'll see doctors talking about them. No knock on doctors, but very few of them know anything about the skin, and that includes dermatologists. I'm not saying none of them, but very few of them, which is why you'll see doctors talking about rosacea creams. Rosacea is a circulatory issue, as I've been saying for years, and when you have a circulatory issue, a blood issue, lymph issue, you've got a digestive issue. Unless you're an IV drug user, that's pretty much the only way you're going to have a circulatory problem. And guess what? Rosacea is tied to a higher risk of GI diseases. 
Rosacea is associated, this is a quote here, uh, from, uh, who's this from? Dr. Alexander Egeberg, MD, PhD, from the Herlev and Gitoft Hospital in Hellerup, Denmark. I think I said that right. Quote, rosacea is associated with certain gastrointestinal diseases, but the possible pathogenic link is unknown, unquote. Well, how else is it going to, it's got to be food. How else does stuff get into the digestive system? It's food and it's uh, gut bacteria. How do you know? Try it. If you have rosacea, fast for a couple of days. And I'm guaranteeing you your symptoms will resolve. Then do a food diary, eat your favorite foods, and wait for your symptoms to flare up. And what you'll notice is certain foods will trigger your rosacea. Also make sure you're on the ultimate nightly essence. They can call that the ultimate anti-rosacea essence. That's how powerful the link between probiotic, good bacteria, and uh, skin health and rosacea in particular are. Ultimate nightly essence, of course, apple cider vinegar, fiber, anything you do to support digestive health. All right, from uh, UCLA's Semmel Institute of Neuroscience and Human Behavior, diet and exercise reduce protein buildups linked to Alzheimer's. Ah, oh, where did you hear that before? They want to vaccinate you against these protein buildups. That's, that's how the drug companies are, uh, the drug company approach. They want to vaccinate you against protein buildups. They want to come up with drugs that stop the body for, uh, stop the brain from building up protein. When it's the diet and the sugar and the inflammation that's causing the protein buildup in the first place. Do you know there's a disease called amyloidosis? Amyloidosis is a, a disease where you get these amyloid plaques forming in your joints and various parts of your body. They call it amylido amyloidosis. And do you know that Alzheimer's disease, if you talk to some genius Alzheimer's disease researcher, they'll tell you, oh, well, it's amyloid plaques in the brain. It's amyloidosis. It's the same thing. Amyloid plaques and fibers and tangles are one of the ways the body deals with inflammation. Alzheimer's is an inflammatory issue. All chronic degenerative diseases are inflammatory issues. Thus, it should be no surprise except uh, for the geniuses at UCLA Semmel Institute of Neuro for Neuroscience that diet and exercise can reduce these protein buildups. If you have Alzheimer's or you want to prevent Alzheimer's, change the way you eat and start working out. Get on a supplement program. Use the ketogenic diet. Doctors will tell you there's no drugs for Alzheimer's disease. I'm telling you, you don't need drugs. Diet, exercise, coconut oil, ketogenic diet. Listen to the bright side because everything we talk about on this program will help you if you're dealing with dementia or any brain health problems or any health problems for them, any chronic long-term degenerative health problems. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Good morning, Kathleen in Boston. How you doing? I'm excellent, Ben. How are you today? I'm doing good. What's it like in Boston? Is it muggy and no, 88 actually, degrees? No, actually, it's beautiful. We've do been it? dealing with a couple of hundred degree days that have finally cleared out, and it's beautiful. It must be here. brutal when it's 100 degrees in Boston. I can only imagine. Yeah, in town it's pretty bad. So what's going on? How can we help you? Well, yesterday I was going out to buy some supplements, and uh, I was getting magnesium. And I saw something called chelated magnesium. I didn't okay. know if that would be better or is it better absorbed? Yeah. I was chelation, sure. chelation is a trick for helping magnesium get absorbed. It's, uh, chelation is a trick for helping all minerals and actually some other things get absorbed. The chelation process, chelate means claw. The chelation process is a way of surrounding something that is ordinarily difficult for the body to absorb with something that is easy for the body to absorb. So the difficult thing kind of sneaks in. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it, it would be better to get the chelated magnesium, yes, do you think? Yes, okay. the chelated form is, is a better form than the, than the inorganic form, uh, which is something like magnesium oxide or magnesium carbonate. Those are stone okay. forms of magnesium. They're much more tricky for the body to absorb than, say, magnesium glycinate, which is a chelated form. So, yes, I would always go with the chelated forms. Colloidal and plant-derived are always the best uh, and liquids, but next best is probably the chelated. I, I would absolutely look for chelated. In fact, I, I don't even waste my money on, on the oxides and the carbonates and those kinds of things. I always go for the chelated minerals. And okay. it always helps, by the way, to take your magnesium with food, and it always helps to take your magnesium with fatty food, and it always helps to take your magnesium with bile salts and lipase and pancreatic enzymes and things that help your body support, uh, that help support the body's ability to absorb fats. Magnesium is absorbed through the intestine and also via, uh, also via fat metabolizing uh, aids, if you will. Uh, things like bile salts, apple cider vinegar, pepsin HCL, betaine hydrochloride, your ultimate enzymes. Hey, I got to go, Kathleen. Does that help? Uh, 
yes, but I have one more question. Okay, uh, why don't you hang on? Hang on through the okay. break, okay? We'll get you when we come back. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication. We're talking to Kathleen in Boston about magnesium and what else, Kathleen? Uh, the other question I had were, what, what's your thoughts about supplements that are made primarily with yeast? No supplements are, you mean with yeast or that contain yeast? I, I don't know, what you, I, just that be specific yeast. here. When I look at the ingredients, they have yeast products on it. Uh, yeast are part of nature. I, you're, you're thinking of like candida and fungus in the body, is that what you're thinking? Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, here's the deal. Yeast are incredibly, incredibly uh, ubiquitous. They're everywhere. You're not going to keep yeast out of anything, and the body needs yeast. In fact, some of the digestive system processes things with yeast, and yeast in the form of nutritional yeast and brewer's yeast are some of the most amazing, powerful nutritional supplements you could ever take. Do not confuse that kind of... Don't confuse your yeasts, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, when, When people think of yeast, they think of yeast infections, whether they're vaginal yeast infections or systemic yeast. Yeast infections inside the body, particularly candida. However, there's zillions of different kinds of yeasts, and there are many of them are an important part of health, and many of them, not many of them, but a couple of them in particular, brewers and nutritional, are a very, very, very powerful sources of nutrition. You know, when you eat yeast, you're eating a living substance, and a yeast is not e- yeast is not yeast, but it's yeast cells. So when you eat nutritional yeast, what you're eating is a yeast cell, and when you eat a cell, whether it's an egg cell, which is what an egg is, or a yeast cell, which is what a yeast cell is, you're eating every single thing you need to build your cells. Eating cells builds your cells, and there's no. It's very difficult to find foods that are intact cells, and so when you do yeast, you've got a golden opportunity. And when you use nutritional yeast, that is, you've got a golden opportunity to eat a living cell. That means get all the fats and all the minerals and all the vitamins, all the things that are found in a cell, and that makes nutritional yeast, gram for gram, arguably the most powerful food on the planet. There's other cells too, cell cellular foods, algaes and eggs in particular, but but that makes yeast yeast super duper duper. Super duper powerful medicines or nutritional medicines, in my opinion. So if you see yeast on, a, on an ingredient deck, I'd have to have some more specifics. Nobody will just say yeast. It'll have some kind of descriptive yeast, whether it's nutritional yeast or brewer's yeast or something like that. Is that helpful? Yes, it was. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kathleen. Have a great day in Boston. Good to talk to you. you okay. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's see. If there's, uh, oh, here's a good one. Well, I'll save this one for... Say this one for Monday, actually. Let's go to the phones. Uh, Spanky in Florida. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm doing um, good. What's going got, on? Got a couple, got a couple questions. Um, uh, can you tell me uh, anything about curcumin? And yes. Can you take that with supplementation? Or Heck inter- yes. Or- Cumin interfere with anything? No, it's uh, awesome stuff. It's a, it, you know, I used to call aloe the king of herbs, but over the last few years, I, I have to say turmeric, which contains curcumin, curcumin, as they say, is uh, if it's not replacing aloe as the king of herbs, it's pretty close. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing spice, turmeric is. It's part of the ginger family. And the curcuminoids, which are the active ingredients, curcumin being the the most important one, uh, are unbelievably important for health. I I use turmeric every day. I just put it in water and drink it. It doesn't go into water very well, but some of it does. Put in hot water, and it tastes a little weird. Put a little honey in there, maybe some lemon juice. Nice honey. Uh, and uh, it's amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. You can use it on top of your skin for, as a sun protectant. It's great for the colon. It's just amazing, amazing stuff. What were you, did you have a specific okay. question? Well, that, yeah, that, that's like I, said, like I told you when I spoke to you before, that I always read, and I was reading on it, and the stuff that it can do, you know, yeah. for cancer, irritable bowel, yeah. prostate. I mean, yeah. I'm just reading all it's the amazing, stuff, right? studies that they've done. Oh, man, I'm like, are you kidding me? I know, so, exactly. I know just what you and, mean. Uh, <laughs> That's and, what uh, I thought when I read when thing, I started reading about it a few years ago. I was like, exactly like that. I was like, are you kidding me? One, one plant, one uh, spice or one phytonutrient does all of these things. It's, it really is amazing oh, yeah. stuff. Do you, do you use it? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I started using it um, about two weeks ago. Okay. And um, uh, because one of the other, well, a couple of the other questions that I was wanting to ask you was <clears throat> about fasting um, as far as should, when you fast, because I try to, 
I try to fast at least one day a week. I guess you would consider that intermittent yeah, fasting. That's awesome. Get, Don't do the same day. My, mix mix up the days, but yeah, that's awesome. Oh, okay, okay. Because, like I say, you know, I mean, you want to give. I think you know you want to give your body a break. Absolutely. And, um, Absolutely. And the uh, the other thing um, I was wanting to ask was about skin cancer. Okay. Uh, as far as like melanoma, basal cell, squamous okay. cell, and stuff like that. All right. Um, uh, when I when I talk to uh, I, I guess you'd say derm- my dermatologist and stuff, you know, when I speak to them, you know, I, I look at them, I say, well, you know what, you know what, you know what this is. I said it's cell disease because all disease is cell disease. And they look at me like, Are you oh, you're, you're, you're right, it is. And I said, well, let's. Said, so they must think proactive. you're. They must think you're. You're like a nutritional or a health savant or something, right? When you say that, I, I, I don't know what the deal is, but I, that's awesome. But I tell them, I said, I want to be proactive, not reactive, and I said, that's I want good. to find out what's causing my cell to freak out. That's and awesome, said, Spanky. You know, because I said, you know, don't get me wrong, doctor means teacher. You know, they I can learn from them, but I think they can learn from me also. That's but, absolutely. Uh, because they're not trained to, you know why doctors aren't trained to look, think about all disease being cell disease? Because doctors are not allowed at the level of a cell. All, a, all the medical model can do to a cell is kill it, remove it, or radiate it. In other words, they can, they can give it a drug, or, or, or poison it, I should say, remove it or radiate it. That's the, basically what they do. They give it a drug to poison it. They'll take it out through surgical procedure or they'll x-ray it. But they can't feed it. They can't breathe it. They can't give a cell what it wants to, so they, don't, they ignore it. They, they don't even think about it because they can't do anything there. But the thing is, we can do it. If we recognize that nobody has lung cancer, they've got lung cancer, lung cell cancer, and nobody has an irritable bowel syndrome, they have uh, irritable bowel cell syndrome and nobody has arthritis they've got joint cell disease nobody has alzheimer's disease they've got brain cell disease when we understand that we'll start to address the cell and we'll see how stupid it is to try to get the body better by poisoning the cell or radiating the cell or removing the cell it, it's idiotic once you recognize like you say spanky that all disease is cell disease and then the question becomes is how do i take care of the cell well you feed it you breathe it and you give it a clean place a clean place to do its work that means de- de- right. detoxify and eliminate toxins, and sugar is a toxin. It really is that simple. Good job, ma'am. Good, uh, uh, have listened other, to the bright side. Can I, there. Tell you, can I tell you one other thing? Uh, yes. I yes. guess it's a, um, a um, um, success story, or I I'm, I'm, don't remember what y'all call it. But Absolutely. Uh, I want to hear success my doctor stories. back in May, and, um, you know, and they did my blood work, and we sat down, and he looked at me, and he's like, dude, your numbers are almost non-existent. I said, huh? He said, everything is excellent. I can't believe it. He said, TSA, well, almost non-existent. How and old I'm are like, you? Okay. How old are you, Spanky? Uh, 55. And they're not used to seeing that. And, yeah, that, that's basically what he said. He's like, I said, well, can I tell you what I'm doing? I'll show you what I'm doing. And I brought in that Tangy Tangerine, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. Yeah. He looked at that. He looked right at me and said, I would take this. That's awesome. Good job, Spanky. You should sign him up. Are you doing the business? No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I tell people about it. I mean, I tell people at work and stuff because, yeah. uh, like I say, some some of us, we do train and stuff like that. What do you do? What kind of work do you do? What kind of work do you do? Uh, I, uh, I find packages at home. <laughs> and you work for UPS I, uh, or the post office or what? I, I, work for, I work for Buster Brown. I work for UPS. UPS, Buster Brown. All right, good deal. Well, I'm glad you called. Sounds yeah. like you know what you're doing there, Spanky. Keep up the good work, man. And spread the word. I sure do appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I sure do appreciate everything you do. I appreciate you appreciating me. Are you are you listening at work, by the way? Uh, yes, sir. Um, um, I'm listening on a hands, hands-free device. I love it. And so you're actually working right now and while you're getting, getting yes. health educated. That's awesome, Spanky. Good job. And, and you're in South Florida or North Florida? Uh, North Florida. Okay, good deal. Well, I'm very impressed. Good job, man. Good to talk to you. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. All right, man. That's awesome. I love my smart listeners. If you're listening to this program, you are one of the smart folks. This isn't a program for the average Joe. This is a program where we dig deep 
Love it. And I know I, I, that's awesome. Good job, Spanky. All right. That's all the time we have for today. We'll continue talking ketogenic diet and carnitine on our next program. We'll talk about this really, really underappreciated uh, supplement, dipeptide, amino acid, especially if you're dealing with brain health issues or heart health issues. And we'll talk about that and continue talking about the ketogenic diet on the bright side when we come back uh, on our next program. Please check out my website, truthtreatments.com. Check out our Truth Skin Health products. I'm pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves an awesome some beautiful, spectacular, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Dangerous blood clot device alert. If you or a loved one had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to your heart or lungs and suffered an injury, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, and even death. These dangerous blood clot devices can break and the metal fragments can travel to your heart or lungs causing serious injuries. If you or a loved one suffered organ damage or other injuries, from an IVC filter, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Act now. Time is limited to file a claim. For a free consultation and free information, call Injury Help Desk at 800-478-1507. 800-478-1507. 800-478-1507. This is an advertisement. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. InjuryHelpDesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. Is negative content or comments on the web affecting your personal or professional reputation? Unfavorable comments, embarrassing pictures, videos, legal documents, and negative articles can ruin your personal life, your career, or your business. It happens a lot, and it's just not fair. But what can you do? ReputationDefender.com can help protect your good name. Get a free consultation now. Call 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Call right now for a free expert reputation analysis. It's easy to squash the unfair attacks with our patented system, and the analysis is absolutely free. Make the best things about you jump out in searches. Protect your personal and professional reputation, your business, and your income. Get your free reputation analysis from ReputationDefender.com right now. Call 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com to... There is an affordable alternative to the high cost of health care that offers freedom from insurance while providing compliance with the Obamacare individual mandate. Imagine having access to quality, affordable health care that allows you the freedom to choose your doctor and hospital. Members can share up to 100% of necessary medical expenses, including some alternative treatments. Find out how you and your family can contain health care costs without giving up your freedom. Go to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. Can your vitamin supplements positively affect your blood in five minutes? Protovite can. Protovite is a genuine breakthrough liquid daily nutrition that delivers quality ingredients into your blood in less than five minutes. Scientifically proven and backed by clinical studies, Protovite supports energy, vitality, and optimal health. Watch our two-minute live blood cell video and save for yourself at vniinc.com slash prohealth. That's vniinc.com slash prohealth. Fully cooked, ready-to-eat bacon. I'm talking thick, meaty, center-cut, presidential bacon. Savory and delicious. I buy some, I use some, I store some. 
awesome. No refrigeration needed with a 10-year shelf life. NASA Pack technology. Bacon. Fully cooked, fully hydrated, ready to eat right from the pack bacon or warm and served. Life-saving ready-to-eat bacon. 10-year shelf life bacon. Ships free at FullyCookedBacon.com. FullyCookedBacon.com. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. Injury help desk is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention prescription antibiotic drug users. Have you or a loved one suffered an aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm, or abdominal aortic aneurysm after taking the prescription antibiotic drugs Levaquin or Avalox? These popular antibiotic drugs have been prescribed more than 80 million times since 2004, and medical studies show an increased risk of the following injuries. Aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm, and abdominal aortic aneurysm. If you or a loved one used the prescription antibiotic drugs Levaquin or Avalox and suffered from aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm, or abdominal aortic aneurysm, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Act now. Time is limited to file a claim. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. For a free consultation and free information, call Injury Help Desk at 800-823-3851. 800-823-3851. 800-823-3851. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Like someone or some company is tracking your every move online? I know I do. That's why I trust Private Internet Access VPN to keep me safe when I'm online. I use it to encrypt my traffic and use an anonymous IP address. Private Internet Access keeps your internet traffic safe from unwanted eyes so you can finally feel safe. $40 a year for peace of mind is a no-brainer. Sign up today at privateinternetaccess.com. Once again, that's privateinternetaccess.com. There is an affordable alternative to the high cost of health care that offers freedom from insurance while providing compliance with the Obamacare individual mandate. Imagine having access to quality, affordable health care that allows you the freedom to choose your doctor and hospital. Members can share up to 100% of necessary medical expenses, including some alternative treatments. Find out how you and your family can contain health care costs without giving up your freedom. Go to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. Can your vitamin supplements positively affect your blood in five minutes? Protovite can. Protovite is a genuine breakthrough liquid daily nutrition that delivers quality ingredients into your blood in less than five minutes. Scientifically proven and backed by clinical studies, Protovite supports energy, vitality, and optimal health. Watch our two-minute live blood cell video and see for yourself at vniinc.com slash prohealth. That's vniinc.com slash prohealth. Fully cooked, ready-to-eat bacon. I'm talking thick, meaty, center-cut, presidential bacon. Savory and delicious. I buy some, I use some, I store some. Awesome. No refrigeration needed with a 10-year shelf life. NASA Pack technology. Bacon. Fully cooked, fully hydrated, ready-to-eat right from the pack bacon. Or warm and served. Life-saving, ready-to-eat bacon. 10-year shelf life bacon. Ships free at FullyCookedBacon.com. FullyCookedBacon.com. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. Injury Help Desk is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention prescription antibiotic drug users. Have you or a loved one suffered an aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm, or abdominal aortic aneurysm after taking the prescription antibiotic drugs Levaquin or Avalox? These popular antibiotic drugs have been prescribed more than 80 million times since 2004, and medical studies show an increased risk of the following injuries. Aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm, and 
abdominal aortic aneurysm. If you or a loved one used the prescription antibiotic drugs Levaquin or Avalox and suffered from aortic dissection, aortic aneurysm, or abdominal aortic aneurysm, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Act now. Time is limited to file a claim. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. For a free consultation and free information, call Injury Help Desk at 800-823-3851. 800-823-3851. 800-823-3851. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Like someone or some company is tracking your every move online? I know I do. That's why I trust Private Internet Access VPN to keep me safe when I'm online. I use it to encrypt my traffic and use an anonymous IP address. Private Internet Access keeps your internet traffic safe from unwanted eyes so you can finally feel safe. $40 a year for peace of mind is a no-brainer. Sign up today at privateinternetaccess.com. Once again, that's privateinternetaccess.com. Dangerous blood clot device alert. If you or a loved one had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to your heart or lungs and suffered an injury, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, and even death. These dangerous blood clot devices can break and the metal fragments can travel to your heart or lungs causing serious injuries. If you or a loved one suffered organ damage or other injuries from an IVC filter, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Act now. Time is limited to file a claim. For a free consultation and free information, call Injury Help Desk at 800-478-1507. 800-478-1507. 800-478-1507. This is an advertisement. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. InjuryHelpDesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. Is negative content or comments on the web affecting your personal or professional reputation? Unfavorable comments, embarrassing pictures, videos, legal documents, and negative articles can ruin your personal life, your career, or your business. It happens a lot, and it's just not fair. But what can you do? ReputationDefender.com can help protect your good name. Get a free consultation now. Call 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Call right now for a free expert reputation analysis. It's easy to squash the unfair attacks with our patented system, and the analysis is absolutely free. Make the best things about you jump out in searches. Protect your personal and professional reputation, your business, and your income. Get your free reputation analysis from ReputationDefender.com right now. Call 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com today. 